Welcome back guys, Slime Bacon here, and welcome to Humankind, a game released by Amplitude Studios, 18th of August 2021, so about a week ago now. A uh, game that looks very interesting. Um, looks very similar to Civilization, of course, uh, which we do love. Uh, although, the newer Civilizations I haven't been able to get into. I played the Jesus out of Civilization 1, yes, I'm that old. Um, and really, Civilization 2 was good, 3 was a bit... Rah, 4, 5, and 6... Rah, so hopefully this kind of goes back to more of the Civilization 1 type of thing, but we'll see, we'll see. So I haven't played anything, I've, this is literally the intro screen. Um, I haven't got past this, so I thought you guys could come along on a journey with me and we could learn how to play ourselves. So we're definitely going to play, we have played historical games before. Uh, choose your empire colour and symbol. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll go blue with a lion. Ash, is there a pig? Oh, is there? looking he's not rude mate how's there not a pig it's a goat we'll be a goat why not <laughs> why not okay uh campaign avatar can we change that oh is this this person oh that i mean apart from the horrible goatee that kind of looks like me i suppose just given the fact he's bald. <laughs> Can we change it? Can I change the Cody, please? Yeah, give us a beard. Okay, more that. I like that beard better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, cool. Whatever. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, play, I guess, right? Yep, go. So we're on the Neolithic era and nomadic tribe, right? Oh, that's somebody who said that. Oh, interesting. Oh, this looks really cool. Like, I assume it's really similar to Civilization because it looks like it's really similar to Civilization. Our universe contains infinite stories. Most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, there is a story that bears a second it's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page turn. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together and things start to get interesting and a bit drier. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother tools and weapons are invented, the hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a servant rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. Struggle and cooperation have been rewarded. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? Very cool. I mean, I assume Across we're going to get world, annihilated. Nascent societies are taking a deep breath looking across the landscape and preparing for greatness. Right, our Neolithic goal is my first objective is to survive the Neolithic era and earn your first era star. Era stars measure your achievements in game. We will cover them in more detail soon. Right? Fim's research, research output. Oh, so that tells you what things are. Oh, yeah. So that's grass. Dry grass, we get science out of that as well. Woodlands, obviously for trees, etc. Coastal is just food. Right. Let's turn that off. Very good. So we can rotate, but it doesn't like us doing it. Right. right. Zoom right out. Good. 
need to research domestication. Or if we go in here, right? To get some pre areas. This is our tribe, obviously. Auto explore will keep that off. So how do we move? We just uh -huh. right click. Sustenance, security, and pleasure. Wonderful stuff. This simple food. Plus some food on our hunting party. Where's our actual food thing though? Oh, they were trying to get 20. Oh, yeah, right, right, right there. So that won't be until next turn. Oh, we're we'll on next turn. Well, that's fine. Even those who have disappeared may have done something very clever. You found a curiosity ancient encampment providing plus two science and plus five star, whatever that is. Your tribe has enough star influence to found its first outpost. Dodge. We shall claim our territory. That place going to be done in a research deposit. Oh, so this is where we're going to build. So that takes longer. But that'd be better because it's got that in it, right? So why does that take six turns? That takes 12. Oh, look at the numbers above as well. 16 food and 4, whatever that is. So that place produces slightly less food, but more of that. I'll do that place then, eh? Did I do it? Nope. Alright. All right. right, so that's 6 turns to create that. So far, so good. Right, what are we doing? Nothing. So do they. So they're there for four more turns. Do they have to stay there, or can we move? I assume we have to stay, right? Do we? Nope. Although, why do we go there? do anything there anyway. Okay. One idle. Oh, hang on. Why is it idle? Oh, I've still got movement. Heaps of movement. There you go. Now I don't. Right. So I can't really do anything until this finishes here. Although this is like exploring I suppose. It's our border on that side. Yeah, they said it's still building because there's four turns. Can I go through there? What's that? Onward. What is that? Sparkly things. Oh, we got some more food. Nice, nice, nice. Events will occur during the game based on how you play and how you shape your empire. It is up to you to choose how you respond to these historical challenges. You have to review the proposed choices and make the best decision for you and your people. Understood. So, did we get more people because our thing, like our tribe, got bigger? Yes. Oh, and every, oh, every little bit of food does that. Oh, that's cool. So there was more over, over here, right? This way. That's three turns left on there. My urgent affairs. Where is urgent affairs, mate? Not there, anyway. Violent pursuits. The last winter was especially harsh. The ground hard in the forest, the frost chilling to the bone. In the heart of the settlement, the tribe huddled close to the shared warmth through the coldest days. But for some, it wasn't enough. Some needed to get their blood flowing, and they found a means through violent games. Oh, rude. Grappling, fighting, contests of strength and endurance. One contest where opponents fight with hide-bound fist has gained quite a following boxing obviously to the point of the outpost unusual foraging missions are under threat what is your say on this new pursuit so we can encourage it but it'll cost us five food does give us more strength for our tribe though we can forbid it we can we can allow it but only at certain times of the year i think Getting strength would be the way to go, right? We encourage these games to make ourselves stronger. Yes, so. This way. Oh, let's even go hunt down some more food. 
Well, deed unlocked. Wonderful Lake Hillier has been unlocked by another empire. Ooh, another empire. This way. That doesn't look like food, though. Oh, so this isn't actually an army. Right, 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 right. So that's my strength. Combat strength, yes. Right, right, we start to learn that. It's <laughs> like the literally very first time playing, so let's go. Ancient camp. You have found a curio curiosity. Ancient encampment providing one. I assume that's science and five stars. Whatever the stars actually are. I prefer food, but whatever. So there's another one over there. So we head that way, right? Uh -huh. oh, there's another one there. Actually, go for this one first, because then we'll head that way. By building an outpost, claiming territory is this easy. The trick, of course, is keeping it. That's right. So we've gained one population. So we need... Oh, it's called influence, righto. Where is my influence thing? Plus five per turn. That's just for this region though, right? No science. Where's my like, overall? Is this the overall here? Must be the overall. Alright, so I can make units. So I can make another tribe, which is another version of these. It's five influence to do that, and that's that one. This is obviously what we can build. Yeah, so those are the only two things I can build at the moment. Oh, so that means I can move the whole thing. Well, we don't want to do that, do we? No. But I guess you would want to make another army at some stage. Um... You must be able to produce settlers once your thing gets to a certain size, right? To make more settlements and stuff. 15 food, right? Well, sure. Do it. And more of that. So I've got... Oh, yeah, I'm at 10 at the moment, right. How do we only have 10? Because I spent it all over here. Mm -hmm. So where's our actual population? There. One out of four, right. Is that somebody else's territory or what? Let's go have a look. Dude, I'm liking the interns so fast. Plus five on our hunting, hunting party, so now we're up to three. That obviously is level four, right? I think should rename that one too. Um, I definitely want to check that out. This island, actually I don't know if this island's massive or not. Right, so we have to get across the river there. Do we want to make another thing then? Let's do that. Let's make another unit, please. Oh, it's automatically done? Wow. So they can go this way. Get that way. So the shift to fix at hoads, at hordes? It hadn't been easy for the tribesmen and women who settled in the outpost, but they preserved, preserved, persevered, 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 <laughs> and now thought of the land as home. When they discovered that one of their number had been hoarding mushrooms, oh my god, they had found in a nearby cave for himself it was a great blow to the spirit of the tribe. Now they want to banish him for his greed. But that means we would lose the location of the mushrooms. So if we banish him. We lose 25% on city defense research costs. So that's actually a benefit for us, right? An extra food. So we get extra food for 10 turns if we keep them. Otherwise, we can send them into the cave to like study the mushrooms. I think the extra food is the way to go. Right. Right, so these guys are off. Uh huh. Oh, enter. Then they'll be off. What's over there? I'm i I'm waiting for the interns to finish. <laughs> They're like instant. Right, he goes there, it's fine. So here we can't rebuild it. That's the only other thing we can do. It's obviously research or something. Oh, actually to allow us to expand this as well. I guess once we get like this, maybe? Look over there. This way. Oh, that 
guy's level three. The thing is, I don't know how I'm doing, and I won't know until we run into another faction or whatever. The nomadic tribe reached the ancient area with happiness. Nice. So what was that? Was that that tribe then? Ten more food. That's obviously focused on events, right? We'll turn that on so we'll make the changes there. Oh, three and five. That's really good. All oh, right, this is all our stuff. Right, right, nice. Oh yeah, it's good. Then the navy and air force as well. Okay. There are three ways to earn your first star: either increase your population from gathering science and from science curiosities, or hunt down wild animals. We haven't seen any wild animals yet. In order to gain units, increase your population, and gather food through hunting, wild animals, and foraging curiosities. Counters measure your empire, right? So what's this one? So, oh, so that's science. Oh, so we've almost got a star anyway. We only need one star to get out of this era, right? Isn't that how that works? Do it. So we're kind of almost there anyway. We're getting it through the sciencey one, discoveries and such. This way. Right, he's got ten. I wonder if you can upgrade that to your units. Just go there. I want to click that to go to where the thing is. I probably want to go down here and... Well, I don't even know where Technologies is. We haven't done that yet, eh? Oop. The Babylonians reached an ancient thing. Right. Oh, if possible, right. So it's not possible because it's not us. That's food, map, encyclopedia. Well, you know it's going to be a good game if there's a, an encyclopedia you've got to look at. Era star unlocked, nice. You have unlocked a Neolithic era star allowing you to move to the ancient era which and choose your first culture. This will provide you with bonuses and acknowledge new gameplay possibilities. Press the Empire button in the Empire banner at any time to access that. What is that? Oh, just one. Very nice. Historical empires have grown from both their idios idiosyncrasies and the diversity of cultures they have encompassed to come and they have encompassed or come in contact with. In mankind, you get to combine cultures or create your own empire with more than one million possible combinations. Jesus. Here are the cultures you can choose from for the ancient era. Take some time to browse through them at your own pace, then select the one you want. So what's that? The Assyrians? Something like that. So they're good at raiding. They get extra units and stuff like that, so that's obviously more military based. What's this? The Mycenaeans. Very good at fortifications. The Hepans. <clears throat> Food production. Runners. They prefer more peaceful stuff. The Babylonians, science. Are you sciencing that one? Zahu, Zahu. Stability on districts. I haven't come across any like stability issues then. God, there's a lot, isn't there? So basically, these, these are all just different buffs, essentially. Combat strength, that's nice. Automatically upgrades regular outposts. Can be used as land spawn point for neighbours. Or the Egyptians. Industry on tile production. Oh, so that's industry is what that is, right? Stability. They get chariot units. Oh, that's cool. So what's this one? I kinda like that one just because it's got a dragon picture. Uh influence, district fortifications. And they get those riders. Although this one's pretty good too, right? That one's reduced cost and increased experience. And they get a strong military unit. 
These guys prefer to run away. We're not doing that one, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know why my throat's dying. <coughs> excuse me. Ah, no, let me have a drink. <coughs> I'm kind of thinking Egyptian. <coughs> excuse me. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, that one with the chariots. Chariots is pretty good too. It doesn't seem like enough bonuses there, though. I think that one or that one, right? I think we'll go Egyptian. Understood. Conference. So if you started a new era, tiles of tales of accomplished begin to spread across your lands. Your tribe is ready to enter the ancient era when you decide. Press the empire button at any time to select the culture. Did we not just do that? Oh, after your intern, right, okay, cool. That's cool though. And then you'd obviously be able to jump through those different ones once you get um, higher level and stuff. Two idle armies. I thought I just clicked on that dude, didn't want to move. Can go see what that is, please. Tribe's legacy. You stand at a crossroad. For many moons, the tribe has tricked the world and is slowly learning the secrets of the world how the materials hidden in the deep places and in plain sight might be fashioned into the tribe's advantage so this is how do we want to deal with this make is only a lack of imagination this is oh plus one industry per population or plus food per population or plus science per population how do we want to like base our army I think makers would be pretty good right Get ourselves extra industry. Let's go have a look up there. I kind of want another army to head south if we can. Oh, so these things actually respawn by the looks of it behind us. What's our population at actually? Zero. Okay. So how does that grow? Like, how do we increase our population? Oh, we're going to get another one in one turn, right? Because I want to come down here and see if we can get those horses, but I think you've got to wait for that domestication. Otherwise, do you wait for this to get to four, then you can upgrade the settlement. That sounds plausible. Well, because we're going to turn ah, into the challenges of a young civilization. Egyptian. It's hard right? keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. Entering this era as the Egyptians, then? No prizes for guessing how you plan to leave your mark. So look at the Empire screen. You have six districts built within your empire. Ah, oh, if we get a building start right, we get different things. We get different accomplishments for different things. Right, let's go. Before placing your first city, let's show the church you're using the button below. Let's have a look. Oh. That's our influence. New era, so we're obviously trying to get that up. So how do we turn that into an actual city then? Select evolved city. Right. So we click there. Oh there. We still want to do it here? Yes we do. Oh that's pretty cool. Oh then we can increase our districts. Right. Otherwise, we can build that. I guess it's like how the world sees us, maybe? Like, how, which way are we? You know, what side do we lean on, type thing? 
Can go back, thanks. So what do you want to build then? Well, I think we've got to build the pyramid, right? Or do we want to do farms, actually? Oh, here's our food production. So currently it's six. So more food will give us more population, right? Eight industry, money, science are coming in. So I think I do pyramid. Uh, does it have to be, oh it has to be within our square right what are, oh we're gonna kill something to do it though if you build it on one that's already got you're not gonna lose anything right correct and then you do your oh you can do more than one right so you do your farm on the farm right that makes sense because it's five food five food six food if we do it there Th only three food if we do it there oh, i guess it's because it's like surrounding lands too right but we're gonna lose ten is that influence? Yes, if we do that. Oh, I can do more than one farm, okay. Um, an industry, I can't really... I don't think I've got any industry things. Oh, we'll do that though. Right, I'll just let those ones build. I'm assuming you're supposed to build all of them, but we'll just do those for now. And check out our army. So this is into a hunting party now, right. So if we just continue to hunt then. Will do. And go that one, which is their other one. Yeah, so he's still trying to find out what this is. Follow me. Oh no, he didn't want that for me. Well, how come we couldn't discover what that is? Population gained. Oh, can I grab another army then as well? Yes. I'll do the pottery thing too. I did, okay. What's this? Feast, would increase our population stuff quickly, I guess. Right, I'm gonna build another army because I wanna send it down here, just to double check on that. Um, is there like... Oh, I don't know what I just did. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. Build an affinity, okay. Hopefully that's, that's not too detrimental to this, hopefully. Uh, so other places are coming up as well. Right, so where's my army then? Oh, have I not in turn? Yes, I have. Yeah, that must take a bit longer. That's like deserts and stuff. Can go back this way. So we need to discover more of those and then do a research so we can actually discover them as such. Yes. Well I went there, how do you actually like discover it though? Oh, you can actually claim territories. Oh, I didn't realise. Oh, so you want to build that around like stuff like that then, right? Oh, there's a lot of food going on there, but look at that one with the indus industry as well. That's a really good spot. Go to there, man. So is this too far away then? I didn't realise we were supposed to be building other... So these guys act as settlements. I didn't realise that. Oh, a 21 industry. Jesus. Lacking food though, so I'm assuming the white ones give like extra bonuses or something. 23 for 10 food, that actually seems really good. Do that one as well. We probably just built way too many settlements, right? Probably. Right, so they're going to do that. Did this other army get built? Did I not build it? Uh, where's my armies? No, I didn't. Well, actually, I don't want him to settle. All Go fight the elk. My side is strong. You can manually fight these? Let's go do that. So, what do you do? Units are waiting for your deployment. Understood. Understood. Can I just do it, please? Yeah! 
I've got more than... Oh, because I've got different dudes, right? Of course. Oh, we won. <laughs> okay. I lost no units. Lost 7% health. I gained that. Cool. Is that all? Yep, cool. Nice. Right, can we go back to that then? See if I can, like, discover that. That other dude can... Um... Discover his city or whatever it's going to be. That's fine. I'm on it. Go, lads. Grab this other dude. Cause I think that's worth it, eh? See, there's. So they're discovering the outpost. That's just cost, isn't it? More than anything, because it doesn't actually use the army Let's as go. such. That's building, of course. Of course, of course. Only two turns, though. Yep, that's quick. Give it 25 months, what's the turn? I don't understand why I can't discover that. Let's explore, exploit at least two of them, and research, but I haven't done that either. Okay. What's that? Incense. Can I go back into this forest? There's got to be something near that. Okay, I guess there doesn't have to be. Alright, uh, can you guys come north, get this, if you can. Oh, when it says exploit, does it mean you've got to be using them for you know, you know how it to use them? It is not just a bunch of buildings. Maybe. It is warmth, protection, and praise the gods, a bit of privacy. But of privacy, because that's just not me running over, right? It doesn't do anything. No, but if this thing builds in a region that has that, then yes, okay. Way more influence to. Evolve. Oh, hello, Mammoth. Oh, I don't know if those guys could kill it. Bring these dudes back. Right, I'm going to bring these guys south because I want to go have a look at those horses and that. Make sure there was nothing else down there that I missed. So, very stable. One pop every 13. So I think we build more food then, right? Let's see if we can get that rolling. Okay. No. Can't go quite out there. That gives us three, seven, five, but we do lose that other stuff. Do that one there then. But it's still building. Yep. That's the farm. Oh, actually, their farm isn't finished yet. No. Okay. All the stuff takes ages, right? It. Hey, just game time it is, obviously. You have constructed a first emblematic quarter. It's a symbol of power and a lasting memory of this era. Go ahead. Be smug. Oh, his technology is right here. It's granaries for food, storage. Why don't they tell you to do that at the very start? I don't know. Alright, we'll get that done, mate. Right, where's that mammoth in there, eh? What's that? Ransack animal sanctuaries, outposts, and 
silly dress to suppose choosing the ransack option. Oh yeah, ransack that stuff, mate. You know I don't want to move, I just no fear. Yeah, right, ransack that. You're coming to kill this mammoth. Oh he's there. Moved. This could be worth a heap of food, right? Surely. You successfully plundered. Nice. Stop. Run away. So what did we get out of it? Ten gold. Oh, that's pretty good. Come over here. Can we get him? Just. Oh, battle right. Nice. So we just auto this one. Victory. Lost 22% health. I assume it was going to be a bit harder than fighting a deer, whatever the other one was. How do these guys regen? Do they just do it? Or do I lose my voice continuously? Or what? What goes on there? 20 health regen from supply status. Okay. I just kind of just do it, I think. Alright. Alright. Alright, let's do that then, mate. Alright, he's done. Oh, that's the new place, right? Yeah, it is. I can't do anything with that yet, though. Mentors. So the food, one of the food things is finished. How much food am I generating? Six. I'm actually losing pot. I guess until the other farm's finished. Are there two farms? That one's getting built as well, actually. Hang on. Wait, I can build way out that way. Interesting. Oh, I don't like food. Oh, is it because I built something there? Now I can build on the back of the other thing that I built. Um, get those farms going, bud. You see, you've got to expand it that way. So what do they actually cost me to make those food? I think. Right, where's my armies? Right, so you go up into here. I'm not finding any food for these guys to continually level up. Oh yeah, they regen to this one. We'll go to that mate, whatever that is. Over this way. Yeah. Have a look down here, make sure there's nothing hidden. I did want to go south, but I think I've given up on that. I'm making quite a bit of influence though, and gold actually. We'll find out what this is. This animal will remain. We've gained science and influence. Nice. Charge! Go kill that thing, get us some more food. So we lost 10% health, massive victory though. Do these guys like rank up? Apart from the food rank. We are exhausted. Well, I want them to go and kill that, but I don't want them to be exhausted doing it. There's nothing hidden down here, right? No. Let's come back up into the mountains then. Let's go look at my cities again, please. My city. So we're still losing population. I don't kind of understand why. Because I built the farm. So the white bits are still building, right? I can only build like one thing at a time. Can I cancel that? Yes, you can. 
That's got two turns. Oh, right. This is my construction queue. I didn't realise that was such a thing. That's why the thing hasn't finished, yes. We'll let that finish. Now six turns on that. Okay, okay. We're kind of understanding. We can buy the whole thing at five, at nine bucks. Let's do that. Oh, and I don't want to do that. Cool. So we just discovered pottery. Right. Six food, five food, seven food. They actually expanded the settlement too. Seven food, nine food. So our food's fine now. I guess because we didn't spend food on. Oh no, we got pottery done, didn't we? Does that mean I can build other things now that I did pottery? Yes. Oh, that's a feast thing, sorry. So this you only really want to build where there's industry stuff already there. And this says there's four, are oh, there? 14 industry, Jesus. You do that, it's massive. Right, so we're alright with food now. That's cool. Okay. I guess we had food tied up in building and such. And we can use gold to accelerate the process. No, that's cool. I like that. Right, we'll discover whatever that is. Go. Ah, more animal remains. Nice. So more influence and more science and stuff. More copper. Go get that, mate. Ah, oh, we need res um, restriction. <laughs> um, extraction. Capabilities. Off we go. Oh, kill it. So we gained five gold. Cool. How are we not gaining food from killing animals? I'm on it. Oh, let's find out what that is, please. Sixty gold. Holy Jesus, that's a lot. What is it? Is that extraction technology? Yes. So very shortly we will be able to do that. Nice. So I don't want to go too far away from that um that mine then, eh? Can we just hold fire there? I mean we can. Yes, we'll come back and we'll just hold fire there until we finish this. It's not that many turns away. Save me having to run back there, right? Let's go! Hang on, how many turns is it? Let's just say You guys hold there. It's a beer, mate. Oof. You guys are still exhausted. Yeah, that's not going up that fast, actually, is it? You ready? Okay, kill it. Gain 10 gold. Man, we're actually getting quite a bit of gold, eh? He definitely needs to regenerate. Oh, he's a veteran now, though. Nice. He's obviously the original. New Civic. The first Civic has been unlocked. Civics can be seen as a collection of custom traditions and laws that allow you to personalize your empire by creating a unique society. Okay. So, oh, we can influence which way we want it to go. It's 10 influence per thing. So that's traditionalist. This is innovation, basically. Why was this even a question? Let's keep it simple. I think you go We've to innovation, right? It's our place. That's that one. I'll go do this one as well. Wait, what? Oh. 
So if we do that, we lose our innovation. So might as well do that. Here's one, the matter. Once you discover writing, you can literally throw the book at them. Okay. Quite sure what that's all about. Well, that's cool. I think I did it right. Just now expecting like another um The agrarian harapans. You're as likely to meet their canals and farmers as their soldiers. Enchanted. Okay, it's such a blimey screen. Do you too believe that there is no sacrifice? I thought I changed that to that too. Needs of an empire? So wars would be fifty fifty because we haven't done anything. That's our relationship. We'll introduce Enchanted. ourselves. Do you too believe that there is no sacrifice too great for the needs of an empire? So both the Sovereign. Oh, I don't have anything to trade with them. They don't have anything I'd want anyway. So this is We're not doing any of those. Is that it? How do I like say yes, that's what I want to do? I think you might find this interesting. Okay. No, I cannot book such a proposal in good conscience. Okay. I'm not surprised. So it only goes to this until and well unless there's an issue or whatever. We're not going to declare war on them. Share maps. A proposal for you. Think on it. I can live with this. Accept it. I can let bygones be bygones. So did they accept that then? I need to listen to this tripe. Okay, that's cool. So we now know everything about them. Oh, and our research is finished too, nice. So they're way over there. Are they? Yeah, they've actually got a big place. Or is that them there? Oh god, I don't know. Effectively, we only have Memphis at the moment. Oh, okay. Discovered our first allies or whatever. Yep. So what's this? Both empires are at peace. So that's them. All right, that's cool. Awesome. All right, guys. I think that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you didn't, remember to hit that like button. It really does help the channel out. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time.